you know, it, it's not about the five they picked. It's about how Monte's not. I mean, Monte had, I don't know, what, 21, 10, and 9 today. He almost had a triple double today. He almost had a triple double on senior day, right? One rebound short. Had a triple double earlier in the year. His team's top 25. He finished second place and if not arguably the, the first or second toughest league in the country. In the country. Uh, he's the nation's all time assist to turnover ratio leader ever. Like, ever. He's the number one guy. He's the all time leader at Iowa State. His character's off the charts. Uh, he represents our university the right way. I'm, I'm disappointed because he would have been an unbelievable representative of the award, just like George is for the Carl Malone Award. You know, but it goes back to, you know, it's, it's, I don't, you know, my last year at Murray, Cameron Payne didn't make the final 25, you know, and I couldn't get over that. And I, and I told Montez, I mean, if we win, I said, I'm going to let everybody know. I just, I don't know how the voting goes. I don't know how it works. I'm not involved in that. But he's, he's the best point guard in the country. There's no question about it. He's going to play in the NBA for a long time. He's going to be very successful. He's got great, I, great IQ for the game. Assist to turnover. makes everybody better. Think about what he lost off last year's team and all the questions everybody had about this team. And whose pressure was it on? Montez. You know, he's our guy. And he's got this team playing as good as they played all year right now. You know, his stats, he got picked in the Bob Cousy Award his sophomore year. His stats are better in every category this year. Look at, compare all those stats to all those guys. Yeah, maybe a couple teams have a couple more wins. You know, we play the top, one of the top five schedules in the country. You know, and so I just, he would have been a great, it's kind of like I think Dabo said about uh, Deshaun Watson, you know, he's disappointed because he would have really been a great ambassador for Heisman. Mm -hmm. He'd have been an unbelievable ambassador for Bob Cousy Award what? and for what it means and for what it represents. And so I'm going to make my own for him because, uh, He's deserving of it, and I'm disappointed for him because for some reason he, he didn't get in there, and there's just there's 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 really not an explanation for it. Why do you think that reason is? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's just you can't get you know, you know. Yeah, all those guys are great. It's not about those five guys. They come from unbelievable programs, and they're unbelievable players. But look at what this kid has done. You know, and I know it's a year by year deal, but for four years, look what he's done this year. Look at his stats. Conference play assist to turnover ratio is like eight to one, right? What is it? And he's getting 17 points a game. And we finished second place in the toughest league in the country. And he's not one of the top five point guards in the country? Come on.